What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I'm gonna show you another animation library but this one is I think is the most famous and uh, one of the best out there. Um, the name is a GSAP or a green sock animation platform. So here we are on in their website as you can see um, we can see already some animations that they did so you can take a look what you can do There's a lot that you can do. They have a bunch of plugins that um, you can add depending on what you want Let me scroll down a little bit You can read all about it. Um, it's compatible, which is great Because sometimes when you animate things you're like, oh my god, this is not gonna look good on different browsers But GSAP is really really good um and you can see a bunch of examples. I don't want to take a lot of time in looking at them, but the link is in the video, in the description of the video. Go there, take a look at all these crazy animations. Um, but I want to show you how you can get started right now. So let me close this. All right, so I went to the Mario, uh, Nintendo Mario website and I took some images from there because I love them. So. Let's just animate this a little bit um, using GSAP. So the first thing you need to do is go there, download the GSAP library, and then um, this is my HTML website. As you can see, I have a JavaScript file. It's empty. I have some CSS. That way these images and background, they look good. So I'm going to go back to my HTML here. You can see it's just like three images, um, just normal. I have here an SGV file that we're gonna work later. Um, I wanna animate an SGV file. Um, all right, so let's go here. Um, before your body or after. And I'm gonna just copy the, um, the URL from here. By the way, I'm gonna add all these URLs um, in the description so you can go there and copy and paste them or go to the GSAP page and download them. All right, so it's gonna be script. Let me paste it. And this is the GSAP um, library. All right, you know what? Let me go here and do this. All right, that's better. And then after that, I wanna add my own JavaScript. Um, the name is animation you can name this whatever you want all right i'm gonna save that and that's it now we can actually start coding in our own file here we have gsap so um let's start animating these characters um very simple animations so let's go ahead and do something like this like let's slide them to the left or to the right. So we're gonna start by doing a GSAP. Let's write GSAP dot, no, not that, dot. And um, we can do from, actually let's start from, let's start with two. So it's gonna go from somewhere to whatever we put here. So from the position that they are to whatever I'm gonna write here, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. The element. Um, all of these images have a class of Mario, all of them. So I'm gonna do Mario, comma, and then here is an object of all the things that you wanna do. Uh, there's a bunch of options um, from distance, coordinates, um, changing CSS, so stuff like that. So let's do something simple as um, X is gonna be I don't know, 400. Let's save that. Let's see if that works. And there you go. So you can see, let's reload the page again. They're, saying, they're changing their position to the X one to 400. So let's change it to Y instead of X. And there you go. So that's how simple it is. We are like we're animating right now with just these simple options. So what I wanna do is, I wanna take this, because we're gonna have more options. 
I'm going to put it inside a variable. So I'm going to do const um, options equal equals to this, to whatever options you're going to put there. And then I'm going to put options down here. And I think that's better, more organized. It looks better. Um, so for example, I can do this and then I could do comma X, let's say um, 100, 100, save that. And there you go. Now he's doing both. Um, let's reload. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do instead of two, I'm going to do from. So they're going to be um, from whatever I put here to the original position. So I'm going to do that from. And there you go. Now, I think that's better for like a website, like an intro. Um, if someone's going to a website and you want to do it like an animation, you can just do something like this and it's like an extra effect, like a, you know, a little bit of value added to the website with a simple animations. So let's keep adding things. Um, let's do opacity zero. So remember we are from this. So from zero, hundred Y, hundred X to the original position. So let's save that. And there you go. I don't know if you can, you cannot see it. There we go. All right. So one thing um, that I want to change because it's like really fast, I want to change duration. So let's put duration uh, two seconds. There we go. You know, a little bit slow, but we can see the animation, which that's what I want. You can tweak it. All right, so I want to change that position. I don't like the Y. So let's just do X um, and let's keep the 400. So they're coming from the right. There you go. I like it. But what I want to do now is I want each character um, animating individually instead of all of them at the same time. That's an option. It's, it's actually very easy to add. So let's go ahead and add stagger. This is what it is. And then you put like, I don't know, let's do half a second. Let's save it. There you go. Awesome. I think that looks beautiful. So if you go to the website and then you see something like this, it's like an intro and maybe something that you said, you know, it was not easy to do, but it's actually very simple with GSAP. And some people say, yeah, I can do it with um, some CSS. And yeah, you can go ahead and do all the code with CSS. And I know this is very simple compared to the power of GSAP. So I'm just showing you um, how you can get started and you can go crazy after this. Um, for example, you can add a CSS. So let's do background color and let's do, uh, I don't know, black so we can see, there you go. So I know it doesn't look good, but I just wanted to show you that you can add CSS. Um, Let's do border radius. Now remember, it can be like it can be confusing because this is CSS um, with hyphens, but because it's JavaScript, you need to do it like this, which is camel case. Let's do um, 100% border radius. Here you go. See, so you can start getting very creative. Um, with all this, um, you can add CSS, you have specific, um, options, GSAP options and um, go crazy. So, all right. So I think we're good with that. Um, now what happens if I want to do something after the animation is done, right? Um, let's say that I want Mario to get bigger after the animation is done, after all this is done. It can be done and it's super, super easy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do something. I'm going to add a variable 
called um, T line for for timeline, and it's going to be equal to GSAP dot timeline, and that's a function. And now instead of using GSAP, we're going to use T line, or you can use whatever you want, honestly. And you can do this. Now I'm going to replace this with timeline. And then I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to say um, two. And this Mario has a specific class. I think it's center. See? So Mario center. Um, this is the left. This is the right. So let's go ahead and do center. And I'm going to do here, let's do scale. Uh, 1.2 1 or whatever you want. Here you go. All right. So you can see there, the animation is done. And after it's done, then this one, because we have the timeline now, is waiting for this one to be done and then jumping to the other one and doing it. One thing that I want to do here is... Um, we can add some ease. Uh, so for example, ease, there is one that I like called back and you will see what is, what is going to do. So it will, it will bounce kind of a little bit. So the animation looks a lot smoother than before. There you go. So same thing with the scale here. Let's do ease back. All right, let's see. There you go. All right, now I like it a lot. I'm gonna remove the border radius in the background. I don't like it. I just wanted to show you. So let's save that. Save it. Oops, no, 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 no. All right, sorry. There you go. Boom. And I'm done. Um, I like it. I think it's very, very easy and easy to understand and get started. And from here, there is a lot of things that you can do, like different plugins. So I'm going to use one of the plugins that they have um, to morph an SGV file. So let me let me go back to my HTML. Let me uncomment this SGV. I'm going to save it. All right. So I just created this horrible SGV file very quickly using Illustrator. And I want to morph it to a star. So what I did was I I went to my Illustrator and I just created this weird thing, like a shape, and then a star. And I wanna, what I want to do is use that plugin to morph this um, horrible thing to this beautiful star. So they have a plugin called Morph SVG. And what you can do to use multiple plugins, you can go and take the URL. Now, something that I want to let you know is um, there's a lot of these plugins that you actually need to be a member. So you need to pay to use them. So just make sure you go to the GSAP page. Some of them you can use it to per for personal usage. Some of them you, you can have to pay if you want to use it for commercial, for a client, for your job, whatever. So go there and just read and take a look, okay? All right, so I'm just going to paste this one. This is the Morph, Morph SVG plugin, okay? Let's save that. All right, so I have here in my SVG, as you can see, I have a path, which is all this weird thing, and then I have a polygon that is, is a star. So my my um, my polygon has a class of star, and in CSS, what I did was um, is hidden. The visibility is hidden. It's not. Um, I am not um, doing um, display none. Okay. Specifically, don't do that because if not, it's not gonna be here. We just need to hide and um, hide it for now. But is there? Okay. So let's go here gonna go here and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do kind of the same thing 
gsap dot two it's going to go from this shape to and this thing has a class of circle i think all right and now we use we do the object with options and we're going to do morph s v g and the svg the star has a class of star okay all right i think that's it that's all we need uh, let me double check to make sure that my class is yeah so circle and star all right so let's save that there you go so i that was fast let me reload look at that all right, so the cool thing that we can keep adding things here. So let's add a duration to make it a little bit slower. Let's say two seconds. Let's save that. There you go. That's better. And you can add a delay if you want to. Let's add one so we can actually see it before. So let's do that. There you go. Two seconds delay, and then is a beautiful star. Reload again. There you go. We all know that um, doing this is not easy and it takes a lot of time and then making sure it's compatible and things like that. I'll, I just did it in one line of code. Super simple and you can get very creative. So go to their website. They have tutorials. They have a bunch of documentation and a lot of other plugins. This is the Morph SVG, SVG is only one. So hope you like it. And that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.